Hey friends, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day. I figured I'd do a quick uh, video tutorial, if it's even a tutorial, just to give you... I just want to give you an idea how these AK-47 weathering pencils uh, work out on in regards to uh, application. And I'm still fairly new to using them, so I'm learning as well. But uh, I picked up this set on eBay. It was rather pricey. I think I paid like $59 for it. But I really, uh, it really took my attention. And it uh, has 37 pencils. And it, uh, a whole bunch of variety of colors. And just to give you an idea of all the different colors that you can use to weather with. And uh, you got concrete marks, earth brown, buff streaking dirt red yellow aluminum gold and so on and so forth it just uh it, it's the deluxe edition box and i picked it up and it really caught my eye so my last diorama i made the one with the uh destroyed area for my robocop uh i i used uh, the weathering pencils 100 percent in regards to weathering and it was my first time using them and they they were very uh they were very user friendly and I really like how they applied and I really enjoyed using them. They were uh, they were kind of struggle free using them. There wasn't much of a learning curve. Uh, you just don't want to go too heavy. Uh, it's water activated so I have some water here and I have my little chair I built and we'll just uh, we'll just giving a little bit of weathering and I'll show you how it applies and what I'm using here is this is uh this is dock chipping for wood. This color here is light chipping for wood. I'll give you I'll show you an example of how that applies and how it goes on. And I have streaking dirt right there. And I have light rust. And our original color that we're going to use is sand. So we'll start with the sand. So you just take your pencil. And this is how I did it last time. I take my pencil and I and I just activate the, uh, the pigment. And let's apply it. And let's see how we... Uh, let's apply it to where you can see it. See, it acts like a uh, watercolor, but it dries nice and... Uh, obviously nice and pigmented and dry and this is just uh this is an example of of what you can do with these particular pencils like i say i'm still learning i'm uh i'm new to using them but like i say they're, they're pretty user friendly and that just gives you an idea how it applies and you have to keep the pencil fairly wet to keep continuing uh applying like this application and we'll just come in and if you can see that just give you an idea of and it's very bright right now because it's wet but when it dries it really uh you can take your finger you can you can streak it you can feather it out as such just so it's not so predominantly uh, visible. And you just kind of blend it with your finger. You can use a cotton swab probably as well. But I just use my finger. It's just as easy. And that gives you an idea how it applies. And it dries nice. And uh, yeah. So let's keep going. And let's weather this. And we'll just add some to the side. See how nice that applies? And give you an idea of what can be achieved. And you just blend it in with your finger like that. This is a uh, particular uh, pencils are more than what I would spend, but I had I had some money in my PayPal account to, to, to put towards back into the hobby because I had sold quite a bit of stuff, and this is what I had went ahead and purchased. I'm very happy with purchasing them. I hope the lighting and I hope you can see the difference in the colors. 
uh, from the original base coat here to the actual uh, weathering. So let's, uh, I'll keep continuing weathering on camera so you guys, we can, we can see the final result and uh, we can just take a look. I, I usually like to hold my pencil up high and then just kind of like when you're drawing and you just feather it with your finger to give it a little to blend it in so you don't have like rough edges. You don't want rough edges in your in your weathering. That's half the battle. You want to you want it to to really blend in with the uh with the piece. Let's see if give you an idea of what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. I'm not really seeing it on camera, but hopefully you guys can. But that gives you kind of an idea of of what you're looking for. So we're just going to keep going. I keep applying it like that. And it looks messy at first when you apply it. It looks very like watery and and nasty. But once you blend it, it gives it gets in those grooves. It gives it a really nice effect of weathering. And like I say, this is just the pre preliminary uh, pre pre preliminary color that we're going to go in and, uh, and achieve. So you don't want, I'll give you an idea. See that? See that right there? How that's just a mark. You don't want that you want to be able to blend it so before it dries you just take your finger in and you blend it with the rest of the uh the chair so that's just how i do it i imagine is more of a professional way to achieve a desired look or i'm sure it applies differently on plastic or things like that but like I say I used it in my last build and I had some plastic on that build and it applied really nice so just just gives you an idea of what can be done with these particular pencils I never thought of weathering with pencils some people just use regular watercolor pencils but I, I really wanted to go with these because these are specifically made for uh, for weathering. I've never used watercolor pencils. I'm kind of a sucker for for products that you can really use to weather with. And when I find something I really like, I kind of stick with it. And this is this product is nice. So it just gives you an idea of, of the weather and that can be achieved. Well, I hope everybody's having a great day. It's Sunday and uh, I have to go to work shortly. So I just thought I'd take a little time this morning and have my coffee and, and do, a little, uh, do a little video to show you guys. Uh, my process and what I do and I really want to be more active on my channel and share with you guys my work and techniques and stuff and and a lot of these techniques are, are not new to me I didn't come up with them on my own I researched and I um, I went ahead and just looked at different YouTube channels and I came across this YouTube channel uh, Jeff Wrighton, R-E-I-T-E-N, and his first name is Jeff, and a lot of his techniques really captured my, uh, it really inspired me to, to put some of them into my, uh, on my displays, and the way he uh, goes into depth on weathering and, and making, uh, Making uh, different environments look real uh, really caught my eye. And I applied a lot of his techniques on my window. 
and on my floor. I didn't follow his his procedure and his techniques to a T. I kind of just used a lot of the same products and just went ahead and did my own thing. But uh, discovering his channel and and discovering you know the way he approaches his builds and his weathering. Uh, allowed me to uh, capture my floor and my window in the way that I wanted to. So it's Jeff Wrighton is his name. Just look it up on YouTube. You'll find it. I, I can put a uh, link to his channel in uh, in the description. So uh, I, I used a lot of salt weathering. Uh, if you ever ever seen people weather with salt, they put a preliminary base coat down and that's what I do with my floor I put a preliminary base coat you know I just painted it and um, I textured it I did all the texture first and then I come in and I I put water on the floor and a whole bunch of you know just water and then I take uh, iodized salt you can uh, I, I get it from market basket it's just a regular thing of iodized salt I crush it up and then I sprinkle it on the floor and <clears throat> I let that dry. And then I come in with some more water and then just dab it, put some more salt where I want. And then when everything's dry, or uh, like uh, Jeff shows in his videos, he takes a, he takes a dull knife and he just uh, scrapes away, you know, excess salt where he doesn't want it on his piece. And I did the same thing for my window. And um, I let everything dry, you know, scraped away excess salt where I didn't want it, left the salt where I wanted it for texture. And on the, uh, on the floor and especially, I just, uh, I took some airbrush paint because it's very, uh, very thin down. You can do it with any paint, just thin it down. And I took a, a toothpick. And I just went in and I, I scraped a brush on the, uh, on the toothpick. And that's what gave me the splatter effect in regards to like little, little drop. It looks like paint just spilled. And in reality, that's exactly what happened is you get, you got uh, a whole bunch of speckled areas, some, some bigger spots than others. It gave me that speckled look on the floor. And the base coat and all this light area right here. Well, the brown, all this brown and this here is where the salt was. You can see uh, the salt acts like a masking, uh, like a masking product. And then when everything dries, I spray paint it with a little bit of black. Just, just not even to cover the whole thing, just the dusting. And then I come in with more of a heavy coat of the white. I let all that dry really well. And then I take my wire brush, you know, or a toothbrush. And you just come in and you wipe away the salt. And you just, uh, you just take your wire brush and you start digging into the, uh, into the wood. And get that gets rid of the salt. And that's what gives you the effect. Because where I spray painted, you can see the little bit of black here. You can see the white, and that took onto the uh, that took onto the wood very nicely. And then where I salted, you see the nice brown areas with the uh, with the droplets of uh, paint. So that's how I achieved this floor. Uh, just to give you guys an idea to uh, maybe implement some of those techniques. Like I said, I didn't follow his techniques right down to the letter. Because it was very in-depth. It was my first time trying it. But I have to be honest. I really like the result of the salt technique. It's time consuming. You have to let things dry. Uh, it's messy. But in the, in the final product. It looks really nice. And I did the same thing with the window. I painted a regular base color. You know. Let that dry. I added some water to the window. I dropped some salt on it. Let all that dry. Added a little more water. Poured a little more salt on the window. Let all that dry. I came in with a little razor blade. I started chipping away, 
at the salt to, uh, to, uh, yeah, just to get rid of the majority of the salt. And then I came in again and I masked everything off. I came in with a white spray paint, the same one I used for the floor. And <clears throat> the areas where there's white, there was no salt. And the areas where it's brown, uh, that's where the salt stayed. And then I came in after everything dried, like I say with the floor, you come in and you start, you know, wiping away the salt. <clears throat> and that's what gives you that, you know, varied look. You get the wood and you get the paint. So that's what, that's, that's how I achieve this particular uh, look on this window. And that's how I achieved the look on the floor. <clears throat> I, um. Uh, Part of my channel is to share with you guys, you know, different techniques and different videos that I come across and to share with you my techniques on how I achieved the certain look I'm looking for. And that's how I achieved it on the floor. And that's how I achieved it on the, uh, on the window. Some, some diorama makers want to keep secrets and and things to themselves but that's not what I'm about I want you guys to learn I want you to I want you to take the time and uh try your own techniques and you know get the inspiration from others and I want to share with you so you can improve your work and you can be encouraged and and it's exciting discovering new techniques new products and trying them out and having them work that's the exciting part so that's how I achieved the uh, <clears throat> the floor and the window. <clears throat> that was my, excuse me, guys. That was my technique for that. And this is just a uh, plastic card here taped in the back. And what else did I, uh, this is just obviously scrapbooking paper that I glued and damaged and weathered and, uh, yeah, so n nothing really crazy in regards to the wallpaper. But the flooring took a while. Happy with uh, the product. Hop happy with the final result. Salt technique worked fantastic. A uh, whole bunch of water, a whole bunch of salt, a whole bunch of paints. And you uh, can achieve uh, kind of a look like that. And as well as the window. So let's get back to our chair. And let's take a look at it after everything is dried. And hopefully you guys can see the uh, the effect. And let's, let's continue. I'll do the side real quick. And uh, we'll run our fingers. And let's try a different color in an area where I uh, everything has already dried. So let's come in with uh let's come in with this streaking dirt color. And let's wet that. And we're just gonna put some kind of like right here. And this is like a greenish, nasty olive kind of grime color. And uh I'm just gonna apply it in like the corners and be a little generous with it and just apply it in areas where you know you think you know dirt might build up or might just catch up and and you just want to it's very important to keep your pencil wet so let's leave it in there for a minute and that's what gives it the uh that's what gives it the grime kind of look. And just rotate your pencil. Hopefully you guys can see that particular. See right now it kind of looks just dabbed on. And if you take your finger or cotton swab and you just blend it in. I really like how this particular corner looks. With the streaking dirt. But that just gives you an idea how these pencils apply. And I just wanted to share my technique with the floor. I wanted to share with you that particular YouTube YouTuber and his channel. And he's actually my first Patreon that I went over to support. Because uh, I really appreciated him sharing what he did. 
it's easy for him to have keep kept his uh kept his techniques to himself but he decided to share for people to learn and that's what this hobby is all about if i discover a certain way to do something and if you guys can go ahead and do it and and improve your work that's what i'm looking for you can even use a little piece of wood to to kind of like blend it and scrape it in that gives you an idea, guys, of how these particular pencils work. Hopefully, I mean, you can really see it well on in person, but I just want you to see it, you know, how it looks in, on camera. That, that just gives you an idea. So I just wanted to share it with you folks. Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to encourage you. Try different techniques. Try different products. Uh, don't be discouraged if it doesn't work on your first shot. And uh, just keep uh, keep trucking along. And I'll show you this vent I made. I made it from wood and I just put it in place. It's upside down right now, but it gives you an idea of... Let me see if I can get it. So yeah, I... Obviously, that has weathering and dirtying to do so. But that took me almost, uh, that took me quite a, that took me a little bit over an hour to, to make just this little piece. So intricate and, yeah, it was time consuming. So that's my video for today. Hopefully, it's helpful. Uh, check out Jeff's channel, Jeff Wrighton, R-E-I-T-E-N. Check out his techniques. Uh, that's how I did my floor, a whole bunch of salt, paint. Spray paint. And, oh, just to, just to let you know, when you do the salt and it dries, you have to either use an airbrush or you have to use spray paint. Because if you come in and you start just uh, coming in with a brush and paint, you're going to wipe off a lot of the salt. It's going to get on your brush and it's not going to give you the desired look that you're... Uh, you're trying to achieve so airbrush spray paint uh, you could uh, also from what i learned from jess is the uh like i explained to you the uh the paint on the brush with the toothpick and you just <clears throat> you just splatter it onto the floor and so on and so forth okay guys so i hope that's helpful i uh i hope you guys uh achieve the look you're looking for and i hope things work out for you Come on over to Law Creations and Friends on Facebook. Uh, share your work. Uh, share anything, uh, your hobby. Share your creations, and uh, we'd be happy to have you. Take care, folks. Enjoy, enjoy your day, okay?